Oh, it's there. I've already claimed it. All right. Here. Here. Turn. Once they're all claimed, then I can just start using rallies. I'm just worried about overriding my little instructions here with rally points. What's going on here? It's a hell of a cool looking ship. Hey, bad guy. Constructor, okay. Let's go there. Turn. Launch. Up here. Okay, did I claim that last one yet? Good and agent. Yes, I did. Alright, I think I can start using rally points now. Um. Set. Civilization. All constructors. Go there. Go. Excellent. Now they should all be on autopilot. I suppose I can rush by some buildings. Anyone who's still building. Like one of those new places. Yeah, advanced factories. That sounds good. And... You too. Does it make a difference which one I pick? Oh, it does too. Alright. I don't mind paying full price for... Four one. Okay. See now we now own half the known galaxy. That's our line here. Slightly more than half, perhaps, but only barely. But now we're gonna start pushing in further. Jeez, these guys—they just haven't learned the awesomeness of Quill Corp. We're gonna tell you how to join our multi-level marketing thing. Look, I love these guys. Uh, we're just gonna give you some money, okay? Is that cool? Your benevolence has won the admiration of our people, and we would like to present you with this token of our goodwill towards your wonderful culture. Accepted. Nice. Ooh, manufacturing centers. What can we, uh... What can we trade for that? Sweet. And influence. Yes. I don't need money. I want influence. I don't need lasers. Actually, I might need... Depending on what planets I take over, I might need some of those toxic world things. I hadn't considered that, actually. Construct. Influence Starbase. We're expanding our franchise. And more. And more. And more! So good. Plus 60%. Look at the borders just run away from us. Fear us, purple lines! It's the mighty blue is coming. So yeah, I really don't know how influence works. For all I know, I should my back lines should be pumping out influence too, but... I don't know. More agents. Just gonna soon have all these guys maxed out. That'll be nice. Manufacturing centers. Hooray! We can actually turn down, I think, our... Uh, our social, because we're not building that much in most places, and where we are, I should just continue to rush by. Can I do that from here? see what they're building. I can double click. Doesn't seem like a good way of doing it. Can I right click? No? Really? Hmm. So I just have to keep going this way. Yeah, we'll buy those. Sure. It's not as much of a rush on Mars, but... So much money. These are all, yeah, okay. Another round, still many, many dollars available. Total Majesty, make a yes man out of your staunchest critics. Uh, the result of our greatest minds coming together to put forth a series of diplomatic techniques that ensure that other leaders think we're just swell. The equivalent of being a supermodel, a rock star, and a famous actor all in one. Awesome. It doesn't help our culture spreading, but it still sounds pretty good. Mm, shipping. Right, all the colonizations, and it's important. Entertainment. Yeah. More, more, more diplomacy. Neutralization. Neutrality Learning Center. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. I don't know actually how it compares to some of our previous learning centers, but maybe it's really good. How, why are they going there? Did I set a wrong waypoint? Vote. Vote me in. Yes. Or it's just giving me the pop-up while looking in, the, in a weird place. Yeah, this place is all done being upgraded. Okay, so that's gone successfully. We just need to set a new waypoint now. Like, over here, this planet, which has recently been taken over and probably has a shitty morale. Well, we're going to park right next to it. Rally point 84. That's what we want. Yay. It's funny, you can see that all my, uh, almost all of my cities, almost all my planets lose money. It's simply trade and tourism now, especially. Tourism is going to be through the freaking roof. That's what you get from having a high influence. That's why we're making so much fracking money. Let's drop this trade, this tax down 29%. Make sure we're that, that much more approval. Our people are incredibly happy. They have all the things they ever want to buy. They've never gone to war. They've never experienced the horrors of war. We've never had a soldier die. Although we did sacrifice a few miners on one planet. This place is just... Why isn't it flipped yet? I don't understand. One day. One day. Then you'll be safe within our empire. Our empire that can pretty much buy everyone else. Just, just buy them completely. Uh, more manufacturing. More of these guys. Construct. Influence. Yay. Oh yeah, I didn't set it on auto. Auto. Scout reports the strange, a strange wormhole that has opened up and unleashed a strange energy burst into our galaxy. Don't understand this. A doubling of reproductive rates. All right. It's probably not an issue. I think most of my cities are, are pretty full. Have these guys not been building something? Constructors. Fail. There we are. The nothings there don't bother me, but here they sure do. Could probably use a second space miner, actually, but yeah. Okay, now what? More broad colonization? It's not a bad idea. I have no idea what population does. That's why I never prioritize farming, but maybe I should. Morale, ultra synonyms, ultra spice. More happiness, more happiness. Do any of these give... influence? Not really, huh? Large scale buildings, well, we build some pretty big stuff. More money? Yeah, because we need more money. Industrial stuff? Sure, we'll build things faster, why not? It's never bad. Treaties going all, on, all over the place. And these guys still haven't flipped, have they? Do we have a read on them? We have, like, infinite influence with them. I don't understand. What's it take to make these guys flip? Oh my god, the ships are in orbit, I never even realized that. That's so cool. Can you not flip capitals? Uh, no, well... Was this not a capital? Down here, you know, Iconia? Maybe they moved? Maybe they surrendered to someone? That's possible. Although the Thorians haven't flipped either. I have no idea. Well, again, I don't need to win by flipping. I just need to win by pushing. Pushing on my influence as much as possible. Taking over planets just helps accelerate them. Apparently I need to redo these governors because the new planets didn't get those reports of where to go. Gotta tell these guys where to go. Go to hell! Ow. And a battle here. See, you guys should just flip to me. Seriously. Citizens of Toria 4. Come. 
learn the peacefulness that is the Quill universe. We have no slavery. We have. I'm gonna have to do another one of these games as one of the evil races, the ones that have slavery, and just try to kill everyone. Cause yeah, that's yeah. We're just gonna have to. Iconian refugees. Destruction of Iconian refugees. Oh. Surrender to the Thalans. Oh well. And we are number four in terms of most powerful civs out of nine. So again in the top half. Um, so that's okay. Could be worse. It could be better, but could be worse. Yeah. Get all the battle stations on there. We may actually want to research better battle stationing for those star bases, but frankly that'll just slow us down. They'll make them more defended, but if we go to war, that they're not going to save our bacon anyway. So. So that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Me and you rally point right over here. Right between these two planets. I'm just we're gonna give them such a headache, but no, we're gonna open a new Walmart in your backyard. Okay, is that cool? I hope you don't mind. It's awesome. We'll have low, low deals. We uh, it's all right. We got we get it from the Iconians. They work cheap. Discount brands from Iconia for you to enjoy. Isn't it great living in capitalist society? Construct influence. Yay, franchise centers. Yay. Auto build. Yay. Ha ha. Alright, it's not going to take much more. In fact, I don't even have to upgrade these, really. I just have to keep dropping them in places. I mean, I'll probably drop a little upgrading. Maybe that's part of what helps it keep chaining. Maybe there just has to be overlap. We have perfect espionage everywhere. Although, again, we lost our spies. All the spies we'd placed with the people that had fallen. Sucks. Join up. There's the border. A little bit more. We gotta be so close. I think you need 66%. We gotta be close to two thirds. Finally! Finally, these guys! What the hell's that? Harvester. Coordinates thousands of tiny farms around the world to increase food production by 10%. Wow, really cool. Um, you know, let's not screw around. Let's just go with cultural exchange centers. I don't really know how they work, being so far away from the, the lines. I have no idea what the mechanic is, but it seems like a good way to do it. Yay. All these mines are going to flip pretty quick. Planet's a little less quick. Oh, right, and... You will build a constructor. And you will rally to the same point as everyone else. Good job. Boom, boom. Industrial sector perfected. It certainly sounds very good. Mm. We're just ignoring everything, everything military. So ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Time for the Star Federation. A little bit more base influence. Mining bases flipping over. Yes, that's right. And an agent. We're done putting agents with all the major races. So I'll just stockpile them. Actually, maybe I was going to say cut back on the budget. What the hell? We're still making a thousand per turn. We literally can't spend it fast enough. Wow. Sure, some battle stations. Sure. Okay, now you're done. No more modules. So, we will drop another one right here, between these two guys. Set. Redirect. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I not tell you guys to redirect? Oh, I guess I didn't actually click on the left-hand side. We are currently doing 26% of the galactic... No, wait. We are 26% of the galactic po population while only doing 15% of the research. Our research rate is actually not that great, amazingly. Military rating is a 60, which could be higher, but it's not bad. Technology rating is 207. Eco ec economic raging rating is 210. I'm surprised we're not doing more research, but we are doing okay. Construct. Influence. Oops. That's not the one I want. I want this. Yes. Auto build. Done. Hopefully those borders pop pretty quick too. 
There we are. So funny to see. We're just like negotiating exclusivity agreements. Diplomatic outposts. And all the people there are seeing how awesome our stuff is and they just want more. We're not we're not an empire. We're simply a multinational corporation. Yes. Beam those resources. I didn't even read to see if it was me. I'm just assuming they're me. Uh oh. Yeah, okay. So that that was a mistake. I well, sort of. I, I was sort of doing it partially to taunt people. Um if because we have those ascension crystals, it tends to cause people to get pissy at us. Everyone else is neutral with us, really? Fallons, seriously, you want to... Is it the Korath that's attacking us? Let's get this straight, yeah. The Korath. Listen, you, you want to attack... The Korath, right? Um, in exchange for some treat? Wow, really? You know, I don't even have to give you a research treaty. Wow. Okay, you don't want toxic atmosphere reducer. That's fine. Tell you what, I'll give you some, uh, can give you access to some trade goods, but how about I give you some, uh, advanced materials, miniaturization, yeah. Wow. Alright, fine, give me your influence points. <laughs> Done. Alright, we're gonna turn the entire universe against these guys. Drath. Attack. Korath clan. Done. And I will give you um, stuff. Sweet! More influence. Let's punish these fuckers. Uh, anything? Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Planetary invasion. Tell you what, dude. I know, you don't want to trade it away. I understand. I'm going to give you so much shit. Alright, wait, not the cultural stuff. None of that. You don't want that. You want weapons. You want weapons. You want impulse drives and industrial structures and lasers. Really? Alright, you know what? I, I don't want to invade any planets anyway. Screw you then. Tell you what, I'll give you some money. I got tons of money. Hey, Corks, how's this going, guys? Listen, uh, you wanna go to war? Wait, what? Why can't you go to... Are you already at war? Yeah, these guys are literally at war with the entire universe. Nice. Alright, so we're just gonna rush out a little bit more culture and hope we can win that way. I mean, maybe we should also build a bunch of ships, actually. Oh, man. Alright. You there. Manufacturing capital. Let's, um... Let's design some ships, shall we? So, medium is still the biggest we've got. Alright, you know what? Let's just upgrade the Quill Vet. Let's give it, um... Better engines. Lots of speed, because it's going to have to be able to hunt these people down. Something like that. Okay. Weapons. Oh, we don't know what, what kind of defenses we need against them. We don't have much of the way in defenses anyway. Let's just let's just hit them as hard as possible and hope they fall down. That, that's our secret strategy. Oops. Still just fit three, huh? one on the top this time. There we are. Save. We'll just overwrite the old design. It's fine. 
Oh, right. No, that's true. We want to quill that too, because we want to be able to obsolete things. And <laughs> Okay, done. You know what we'll just do? Just to make sure that we have enough defenses. Everyone building a constructor, build a quill that too. That's right. And uh, I guess we're going to quickly build some maybe on the front lines. Thump. Yeah, okay, we got enough money for this. Accept. Accept. Whoa. Yeah, it's a 3D map. You can rotate it. It doesn't come up too often, though. I'm quite happy with the sort of generic view. Except. Except. We still have way more money than we can possibly spend. We're going to pump out a million of these. We're going to group them all up. We're going to create some monstrous fleets. And then we're going to go hunt people. Yes. So we need a new waypoint. Let's say, uh, here. It's going to be a fleet waypoint. Set. Go. Oops. And I need... All quill that's go to the new waypoint. Go. Oh, you bastard. Crocs have fallen to the Korath clan. Uh, so I guess they're not helping in the war anymore, huh? Okay, we've got a new planet. That's good. Oh, an influence bonus planet. That's kind of nice. So we want... Um, what are they called these days? What are my, what are my factories called? Industrial sectors. Cultural exchange centers. Oh, they can never be built here because it's a heavy world, gra gra heavy gravity building. The heavy gravity world. Can I not speak to you yet? God damn it! As soon as I can speak to them, I can probably get peace. Just super diplomacy and just give them a shit ton of stuff. Did I not get my ships yet? Or is that this turn I get my ships? Oh, my star base. Ow. I just lost a lot of influence there. God damn it. So who am I wearing with? These guys? Korath. Alright, buddy. I think that's funny. Where's your homeworld? Way over here, huh? Let's place a bunch of people. Morale bonus. Industry. Your places suck. What what are you possibly gonna do? Oh, place. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel as much of your shit as I can. Okay? There. Terran fleet. Okay, we can get one more ship in here. So, uh, the way fleets work is you're basically grouping ships, and then they, they basically add all their firepower together. Is sort of the way it works. Um, and you get a logistics score, so you can research that, and the higher your logistics, the more ships you can put together. Right now I've got a, a 15 as my max, and these medium ships have 5 logistic cost each, so I can make a fleet of 3. Which is going to be alright. Yes, we definitely want battle stations. There we go, there's another one. And now we've got our fleet of three. So I set a special waypoint here where all the ships that get come here get fleeted together automatically. Now I'm just going to give this guy an auto attack, and he's going to go and hunt people down. I don't. I'm not even going to bother managing them. Where's he going anyway? 
way over here. Oh, a heavy fighter. Oh yeah, they can probably shoot down my, my constructors, but I guess it's not the end of the world if they do. Oh, they've already nullified those agents. That's okay. Um... I hate that we lost our frickin' thing. Okay, we will... How do we... What, we can't... We can only reroute things that are being built? That's weird. Well, you go over there. You might get shot down again, but... You go on a kill mission. Cannot find targets in range. Part of the, partially the reason for that is we have really shitty sensors. Apparently we have shitty range on things too. I actually can't reach their planets to threaten them. Oh, well, actually I can get these. Alright, we're going to go over there and harass them. You stay there until you get a fleet. Whoa! Over-eager archaeologist intern participating in the dig on planet Snappy 3 in Sector 4-4 uncovered a mysterious precursor device and started fiddling with the controls before the other archaeologists, archaeologists could stop him. The device emitted some kind of energy beam, setting off a chain reaction that spread from planet to planet, triggering other hidden devices on each planet. At first, the beam seemed to have no result, but reports are, have been coming in from all over the galaxy. It seems the energy beam has increased the efficiency of all life support systems of all ships. In fact, all ship ranges are now unlimited. Really? Just in time for me to go after their fucking homeworld? Okay. Kill. Okay, can't find targets. Well, maybe we'll find a few targets over here. What do you think? Start harassing their planets, shoot things down, generally make a pain of ourselves. Be nice to have some ships with actual sensors out there. I can also upgrade the sensors on my uh, bases. Now, well, speaking of sensors, all right, let's do that a little bit. Yes, let's upgrade our government. You construct influence starbase. Um, yes. Okay, battle stations first. So we need some troop transports to actually take over the planets. That's okay. I don't want to take over them this way. That would be wrong. can't believe we're actually at war. Yay, sensors. More sensors. I don't know if they work passively or if you need to equip them for them to actually do anything. Kill mission? Kill mission? Yeah, go on a kill mission. You, I don't even know. You're still rallied the wrong way. Go here. Kill mission. There we are. Hey, we got our fleet first fleet combat. Boom, 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 boom. So you only get this cutscene if it's fleet combat. So here's the enemy ship getting completely annihilated. What do they use? They use they have an attack of two. Well, they're only a defender ship, they're not very highly rated. We're speeding through this game pretty quick. We've got much better tech than everyone. Which we already knew. Alright, freighters is good. More sensors is good. Let's keep going sensor-wise. We want to be able to see everything. Oh, only three people left. There have been complaints that the Terran Alliance are exploiting native populations of other, of other civilizations. To rectify the imbalance, this resolution would require them to pay 7% of their income to the other civilizations for one year. Fuck no. Now, look, no, notice how many votes I've got. I'm the blue chunk here. I have more votes than everyone else combined. So, I can do anything I want. Bastards. They're, all the evil ones are left, I think. I think all these guys are evil. I'm not sure. All the good ones have faded away. They've surrendered. It, it's up to me to convince the evil ones to come away from their path of war and join me in my path of being rich and eating lots of McDonald's. Kaboom, 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 yeah. Oh, they're getting obliterated. Hooray for superior technology. Although, I am lacking the technology to actually do planetary invasions, so I can't take over the planets this way. But that's alright, I don't think I want to. Okay. Everyone 
everyone's dead, my ships survive without taking any real damage whatsoever, plus they have like the super auto repair modules, so we are fine. Can I negotiate with these guys yet? Are they still being dicks? Speak to. You're the leader of a semi-powerful galactic empire. The lives of billions lie in your decision to continue a failing war. Perhaps you'll continue, consider begging for mercy. So they're not willing to take it as is. But tell you what, I'm magnanimous. 